Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it, and thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing both. Uh, make sure that you're utilizing that link, that way you're going to the right place as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Alright, so Cancer. Your overall energy is the movement of wands. You have the tower. You have Justice. The Tower, by the way, is your challenge card. You have Death. You have Judgment. And then the Innocence of Wands also came out with Judgment here. Very interesting energy. So you're really taking action on something or towards someone. Or someone's coming towards you. I really feel like this is you, though. <clears throat> your challenge being the tower is acceptance of information that's coming in that may may not be something that you want to hear or were expecting to hear it's like expect the unexpected okay is going to be your challenge uh, the justice card there could be a decision because of this tower. It could mean the ending of something, but it's the beginning of something else. Something's going to transform. Okay, and there's a rebirth here with the judgment card. Okay, so you will be optimistic about this rebirth. So let's see what's going on. Clarifying the movement of wands is the ace of cups, the six of cups. So this is love. Could be with a Pisces. Three of Cups could be with a soulmate or somebody from the past. We have the reunion card. Three of Cups here. You could just be, if you're just dating and it's not somebody from the past, then it is definitely a soulmate. So you're moving forward on this and there's a lot of excitement here. Main female. So this is a feminine energy that you're looking at. Doesn't have to be female it could be male just in their feminine energy right all right why is the tower uh, cancer's challenge ah the four of cups the four of wands and the seven of cups all right something's going on with your stability here it could be your home environment. Something's coming in to disrupt it. It's they're showing me an earthquake, actually. So this is what I'm getting is this tower is a distraction from this love. This ace of cups. That's what I'm seeing in the Four of Cups. Because you're not looking at it, but it's not because you don't see it. It's because it's a, this tower is a distraction. You're looking at this tower. It's like this love comes in and then bam, this follows. And you're like, oh shit. Now what do I do? That's the Seven of Cups. Now what do I do? I get this love over here, but I got this going on at home. Clarify. Ah, aha. Five of Swords. So drama. 
this drama, and it could be uh, frenemies here with the Five of Swords, this is a distraction that could actually be purposeful. Trying to disrupt you in this love. Trying to disrupt you from loving. It could even be smoke and mirrors. Like, is the tower a tower? Or are these people, because I do feel people, presenting it to be a tower, when in actuality, it's not really a tower? Could it be a problem? Yes, I do feel that. But a tower? I don't think so. And I feel that's the unexpected. And that's your challenge is to see through this smoke and mirrors. So there's something going on in your home life. I don't know who you live with. I don't know who you live around or who's at your house a lot. I don't know. But it, there's a smoke and mirrors thing that's going to... Yeah, see? It's totally distracting you from this person over here. So if this is a past person, maybe these people don't want you to be with this past person. And they're like, oh, gotta, you know, gotta cause some turmoil. Hence the earthquake, right? Wow. Tell me about the justice. Eight of swords. Two of swords. You're feeling stuck, but you're not stuck. It's an illusion. Chariot. Yep. Yep. You want to move forward with this person, old or new, you want to move forward with this person, but you're feeling stuck and all up in your head because what do you do about this, what looks like or appears to be, at least they're presenting it to be, a tower? No, you've got to take your blinders off here. Okay, you've got to, first of all, unblock your heart, all right, and how do you do that? Go back to this relationship and unblock it. Then come visit this again. And you're going to see it differently, I promise. Your blinders will be off. This eight, You will be able to get in alignment. All right? When you're in this despair mode, you're not in alignment. You have to go back here. You have to go back here. This person will help you or this this experience is going to help you get in alignment so that when you revisit this you're gonna see it's smoke and freaking mirrors manipulating they they are emotionally manipulating you cancer big time be aware of that because you need to be in alignment and listen to your intuition here In order to move forward this could have to do with a wealthy man hmm you could be dealing with a wealthy man or you are who is this wealthy man to cancer Three of Wands, what you've been waiting for. So maybe, is this you? Yeah, you've been waiting for wealth. Maybe like you have a business and you've been waiting for it to take off. It, it's here. This may be coming too. Jeez. You got a lot happening. But mm, this may turn things around. Whatever you've been waiting for over here, money wise, may turn things around for you or it's shifting you in some way. Okay? This may help you get unblocked here. At least. Not so much your heart chakra, because I feel like you need to go back to this female over here, this feminine energy, for that. But this will shift you even more. Tell me about the death card. Ten of Cups. 
the magician. Yeah, and two of pentacles, creating your emotional fulfillment. Why do you have to choose? You feel you have to choose? Ace of wands. Choose when to move forward. It's because of this freaking tower moment. Two of pentacles again, please. Yeah, the hangman. You feel like you need to wait to move forward. Why? Because of these freaking emotionally manipulated people. Manipulative people. Distracting you. Distracting you. Eyes wide open, Cancer. Eyes wide open. Concern. Yeah, you're concerned. And I feel you're going to be concerned. Will this person be there? When should I move forward? Like making this decision because, yep, what are, what are the people around me going to think? This community, what are they going to think? Maybe that that's just that. They don't agree with, with who you're with over here. And you're worried about what they're going to think instead of worrying about what makes you happy here because it's your life, not theirs. Okay, so let's see. What is the judgment card and the innocence of wands? Strength, five of wands and nine of cups. You know this is your wish fulfillment, but you're, it's like you're fighting yourself. You're, you're internally struggling. Hang on. Okay, so you know this is your wish fulfillment. You're struggling. You need the strength to step forward and just do what makes you happy. Okay? And sort of announce it to everybody. Tell them your good news. That's what you need to do. Mature woman. One of them may be a mother figure. Or could even be a father figure in their feminine energy. It's just somebody in their feminine energy that you're telling this, that you need to tell this to. Hmm. Interesting, Cancer. Advice. Spirit of Cups. You need to listen to your heart here. Nine of Swords. You can't do that with the, the anxiety and fear that you're holding. Okay, this is your new beginning, Spirit saying, with the universe. Begin it the way that you want to begin it. Let's get a crystal that will serve you well regarding this energy. We have Lodestone, Earth Embrace. All right, so that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope that resonates. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing this link in the description box if you are interested as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.